Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing well. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, today at this very moment, I wanna to talk to you about leaving Egypt. You know, a lot of us have problems letting go of the past and we like to hold on to it. You know, in marketing, they tell you in order for you to remember something, you have to repeat it seven times. In the Bible, if we were to look at it, we would see so many examples of seven, seven, the meaning of seven. You know, we would see creation, seven days. We would see how the Israelites walked around Jericho, seven days. And there's so many more examples that we could use, but there's just something special about the number seven. So if you have your Bibles, turn with me to Exodus 14, five through seven, and let's read it. And it says like this, when the king of Egypt was told that the people were gone, he and his servants changed their minds. They said, what have we done letting Israel, our slave labor, go free? You know, here we see how the Israelites were being fed in Egypt for several of years, uh, for a while. But the thing here about the Israelites during this time is that they're being fed, but it was costing them. Uh, it was costing them their freedom. They were in slavery and captivity. And uh, because this was costing them, this is what they knew. They only knew to be slaves. They only knew hard work and labor. And um, whenever they needed to be uh, uh, freed from what was feeding them, they were still complaining and holding on to the past, saying, take us back to Egypt. You know, Moses was trying to lead the Israelites out of Egypt, but during that whole entire process, they kept on complaining, saying, let us go back to Egypt. They were they were wanting to go back to what they were used to, to the familiar. And during certain seasons in our lives, meet certain things, certain requirements. But once we enter different seasons, it's like different things change or we don't need the things that we used to need. And um, when you grow in God, when, when your relationship with God grows, it requires for you to release something in order for you to receive something. And this is where... A lot of us get stuck. A lot of us have problems of letting go in the past. A lot of us have been asking God to do something amazing in our lives, have been asking for something, something very specific, but because we keep on holding to the past, we can never receive the new. We can never receive what God is really wanting to do in our lives. We see how Moses leads the Israelites out of Egypt, but were they grateful? No, absolutely not. They were scared. They were afraid. They were worried because they could see uh, 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 the Egyptians coming after them. They could see the dust uh, of the chariots coming to them. And they were even saying, this is it. This is where we're, where we're going to die. And why did, did Moses lead us out of Egypt to die here? You know, certain changes, listen to this, certain changes are not embraced. They must be forced. Sometimes we're holding on to the past to where we can never receive something new. We can never receive what God is wanting to do in our lives. And because we're just so caught up into it, sometimes God has to force us into a new season. Sometimes God has to force something, something to happen around us in order for us to receive the new. For example, if you have ever tried to gain muscle or lose weight, you're going to understand this example. Whenever it comes to gaining muscle, you have to push yourself up to a certain point, almost to failure, in order for, for your muscles to actually understand what you're trying to do. It's, it's like once you get to that line to where they can't push anymore, it's like something happens in your body to where it triggers to where they're understanding this is the point where we're gaining the muscle. This is the point where, where something is happening in the body. And here we see how Pharaoh and, and, and his uh, uh, advisors changed their minds after they had set the Israelites free, after they allowed them to leave. So here they changed their minds. And then they were like, well, there goes our labor. Let's go get them back because they were doing all the hard work. And what this represents, what this represented uh, uh, for Pharaoh, it was actually um, death because we would see all these plagues that happened and what represented death to Pharaoh meant freedom to the Israelites. But let me ask you guys this question. Will I partner with what God is doing or will I resist? Because God wants to do something in your life. But the problem is a lot of us still hold on to the past. A lot of us are still holding on to the problems and we can never receive the new. We can never receive the blessings. We can never move forward because we're so caught up in the past. You know, during this time of the COVID-19 
A lot of us are holding on to 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 certain things that we can never uh, that that we don't allow God to move inside of us to to release those things in order to receive something new and. It's almost like God has to pull away everything that's around you, all the voices, so that you can hear him and understand what he is trying to do in your life. You know, sometimes God allows something within us to die for something to come alive. You know, I believe all this that's happening is not by coincidence, but I believe that God has intended this for a reason, for a purpose. You know, here we see how Pharaoh changed his mind. And a lot of us, just like Pharaoh, change your mind to where we're asking God to do something, but then we're like, you know what? Never mind, God. I I can't let go of this. I can't let go of, my, uh, of, of the past things that have affected my life. But here we see how the Israelites are in the process of going into their freedom, but yet they were still holding on to their captivity. They were still holding on to what to what was feeding them. They were still holding on to the familiar. They were still holding on to the comfort zone. And then they wanted things to be easy, but a lot of us have problems of the unknown. And what God removes, I want you to listen to this, what God removes is just as important about what comes into your life. You know, I believe that God is teaching us specifically during this season to appreciate the small things. You know, I cannot wait until we get that opportunity to gather together as a church with everyone around around the, the, the sanctuary, not having to worry about masks, not having to worry uh, about social distancing, but I cannot wait until we get back together as a church family and worship God freely and just engage in his presence because I know that this is sparking something inside of the church. I believe that this is doing something, stirring something inside of us that, that, is, that is making us appreciate even the small things of going to church, of being in the building, of, of, of having that alone time with him, of growing spiritually. So if you cannot remember anything of what I said, just remember whenever you're moving forward, don't worry about the past. Don't hold on to the past, but just worry about what's ahead because God is going to be in control. God bless you. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>